What's up guys, how's it going? Now, I recently got the 4.2.2 system update for my Galaxy Nexus. So without further ado and without wasting time, let's go ahead <clears throat> and find out what was new in this update. Now first of all, as you can see, it's just roughly 44 megabytes. So let's see what was and what's different in this. So going to do a quick reboot and we'll start in right after that. Just let it install and I'll just skip this place for you guys. So for some reason it seems to be taking quite some time. For those of you who wondered how I got this update, it, I didn't really do anything. Just turn on Wi-Fi and the update downloaded automatically. For those of you who aren't able to download the updates or who don't want to sideload them, what you can do is go into Google Services Framework in your apps and then make sure you clear data and then you force stop. You have to do two things in Google Services Framework, clear data and force stop. And then go to your about phone, once you do that, just go to about phone right away and then check for updates and they should be there. If they're not there then try it again. Sometimes it works after two, three times, you never know. Okay, so we'll give this guy some more time. He's almost done. Alright guys, so right off the bat you can't really notice any features because Google hasn't really listed out what's new in the update, but some of the features that you can notice right away I'll just go ahead and show them to you guys is on the quick settings menu now you can just if you want to turn on Bluetooth or turn on or off Wi-Fi you can just hold it long press it so right now Bluetooth has just been turned on due to the fact that I long pressed it long press it again Bluetooth goes off long press Wi-Fi goes off long press it and then it turns on so that's a really maybe something that was needed a long time back so you see it's still loading it's still bringing my apps in still loading all my current settings so we'll just quickly check out what update I'm running on <clears throat> there have also been reports that this update actually clears your if you had some Bluetooth issues with your phone formally this update clears all of that so hopefully you guys should check it out and it will be good well as you can see it doesn't really show a version okay it does yeah Android version 4.2.2 so that's what I'm running guys and hopefully in the future I'll do videos on if there is any specific reason for this update or if it's just a minor one. So thanks for watching guys. If you like this video do give it a thumbs up. It helps me a lot. Do leave your comments if you have any questions and if you subscribe that will help me even more. Thanks for watching. Bye bye.